keep it secrets to different bills. Hey, don't go dim it, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me when you ain't like me. My nephews and nieces, this is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, right? Today we're going to talk about a new meta point guard build for season five. Now, before we get into the video, though, make sure you drop a like and subscribe, liking up the video will push the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and put you a noted game for the daily dub uploads. But now let's get straight into this video. So, again, when I say new meta, I'm not talking about you know, like this is going to be the like the the no, this is basically a new different ideal of a point guard build that is meta meaning like if you was to use this build it's definitely what we consider a meta build a lot of people will look at the build and be like yo this build is goaded right so that's the whole purpose of this now what we're going to do differently this time is that we're not going to be going to six nine way we're actually going to go the opposite and go six one i made a lot of six nine type builds so i want to go six one with this one so you have to go point guard um it doesn't matter if you left or right handed i just like going left handed again like i said you do want to go six one so six nine or six one will give you demi guy type attributes right so again if you want to talk meta you either got to go six nine or six one so we're gonna go six one one 188 with a six seven wingspan okay we go up this one inch for six seven body shake doesn't matter i just went to find and then what we're gonna do here is this again like i said it's all predicated on just really really easy numbers i guess you can say we're gonna go 80 on a close shot the reason why i'm not trying to go 85 is because you're not gonna get a lot of standing shots so you don't really need fearless finish and all that the only thing that's really important here is giant slayer i mean it's giant slayer okay so that's what we want to go with and then also we want to get an 89 to be able to get slithery finisher on gold and also the dope thing about this build is we're going to go 86 so we'll get posterizer on silver and we'll get limitless takeoff and again like i said how glitchy it is you get 24 finishing badges just by doing this right here 24 right don't worry about standing don't worry about post control then go 78 on your mid-range shot and then 92 you know you gotta go 92 on there and then you'll go 70 with your free throw okay so the reason why i say you want to go 92 is obviously you see right here you'll get some really really good gold badges agent threes blinders limitless and dead eye all on gold and of course hall of fame space creator green machine amped volume shooter oops volume shooter and then also again where's it at um where we at which one i'm missing did i say amped already volume shooter i think i said them all already so yeah so again you still walk away with 24 all right then what we're gonna do here is this we're gonna go 92 77 and then 76 on our pass accuracy now the big thing is this you're gonna have to obviously add some badges here this is the one that you're gonna do we'll talk about that when you bash points but the big one here is 92 will give you trey young size up which is the most popular you gotta at least have a 75 speed with ball again we all know that speed with ball does not necessarily mean that that's how fast you can be with the ball it doesn't so again we found that out it's broken really speed with ball only thing it is, is right now for is just animations and right now michael jordan dribble style is the most um i guess you can say the best dribble style so everybody just goes for 75 but in this case obviously 77 because when your ball handle goes up your speed with ball goes up so we're going 77 and 76 with the pass accuracy you could go a little bit higher if you wanted to that is an option but again hey you can make some tweaks to whatever you feel is best okay now um on your defense 76 on your defense okay on your perimeter defense at 6 1 the big one here is really the steals and we're gonna talk about that in a second but perimeter defense is your lateral quickness a lot of 6-1 builds obviously they don't play the on ball defense but you could with this build and the reason being is because you will have a 95 steal which will give you gold glove right very important here you can be very very toxic with this you will have a 95 steal okay 76 on your perimeter defense and you still get 21 Bash points, which again, like I said, it's, it's absolutely insane. I told you these builds are broken at 6'1. 75 speed. Again, you cannot tell no difference between 75 speed and 90 speed. You can't tell a difference with it. The only way you would see a difference is if you're 6'10 and taller. So a 6'1 build at 75 speed and a 6'1 build at 90 speed, you can't tell a difference. Hopefully that will be fixed in 24. But until then, 
We're not worrying about it. We're going there. Acceleration, you do see the difference. So that's why acceleration, you want to get at 90 on your acceleration. That helps you out a lot from your triple threat and just bursting out of your dribble sig. So 90 is what you want to shoot for there. Um, you want to skip your strength, of course. You got to go at least 75 on your vert to be able to get all the pro contact dunk animations. And then, of course, you walk away with your 90 stamina. So look at this, 24, 24, 21, and 21. It is extremely toxic build, man. 6-1, you can spam square and get so many steals running up and down the court. You get the Trey Young dribble sig sigs. You get the Michael Jordan signature style. You get limitless um, on gold. You get all those Hall of Fame badges. You get contact dunks. You get slithery on gold. I mean, what else do you need? This is a very toxic 6-1 guard build. Now, you do get slashing. You get shot creating. You get um, sharp. And you get playmaking. Obviously, we all know easy blow buys and limitless is probably some of the most OP badges you can get in the game. But also pull up precision, ankle breaking shots. I know a lot of players that like using those um, for obviously the pull up for fading for threes. And then, of course, ankle breaking shots, just dropping people. And again, you can't forget that people love double doubling up with limitless range takeover and just having two and be able to just really, really shoot from beyond half court. And um, again, that's really toxic. So but here you have it, my nephews and nieces. <clears throat> Again, like I said, man, if you're just getting on the game, you're looking for a guard build, this is one you definitely should consider. I will be dropping all the Season 5 meta builds. And again, as you see right here, this is an inside-out shot creator, okay? Now what we're going to do is this. We're going to go ahead. We're going to test this build out real quick. We'll get to 99. And, of course, you know we will then get you out of here. So let's do this real quick right now. Boom. Here. Um, and again, like I said, you have 24. So the big ones here, you want to get Giant Slayer. Got to have that maxed out. Acrobat. So that's five. That's nine. So then what we'll probably do down here, we'll just go Aerial Wizard on Bronze. So that's that 10. And then again, um, which one's it? Okay, so Posterizer. I mean, I'm Limitless Takeoff, Slithery, and then Posterizer. So you may get all three off rip, which is dope. Acrobat and Hall of Fame. Like you can see, this is just pretty toxic. You can go ahead and get um, Area Wizard on Silver because, again, you are 6-1. You are able to con um, do catch um, contact dunks. So, again, you're good here. You got all the Tier 3 badges that you need. On the shooting side, you want to get your Green Machine on Hall of Fame. Um, you definitely want to get Amped. Well, let's keep it here right now for the 10 because what you want to do here, the, the only ones that's really important is your um, Limitless and then your Blinders, okay? Now, you do have six left over. If you want to try to get Agent 3s, you can do that. If you want to get your Dead Eye, you can do that. But to me, I think getting Amped is going to be important for your Fatigue and then Volume Shooter right here. And then with that one left over, you can go with, I don't know, Comeback Kid, Clutch Shooter, whatever. I'll probably do Comeback Kid uh, because that just boosts your shots on mid-range three-point shot abilities while trailing in the game. Um, so again, you could go this way. You also have options of double coring if you wanted to, but I was going to talk about double coring and playmaking. If you hit level 40 um, last season, you will be able to double core badges. So you could do that, or you can get six badges that you can add that you can then do that. So if you want to add six badges and you get this and then use, instead of getting Comeback Kid, use that and get Agent 3s on, uh, on gold. You can do that also. So that's an option. And then here, again, this is where I say you should use, utilize your badges. So we're going to talk about that in a second real quick. Let's just go gold right here real quick. So obviously, um, you want to get Clamp Breaker, you can core that. Then what I would say then is that you could core your handles for days. Because if you core handles for days, then that means theoretically, once you click this, you will still have 11 badges. So let's act like this is cored, right? And say you double core this. Then you have 11. So then now you'll go here. That leaves you with four. So now you have hyperdrive. You have quick first step. You have um, gold unpluckable. You have clan breaker. And you have handles for days. Then what you would do is go bail out. You'll get that on bronze. And then you'll turn around and you can have more badges that you can utilize because you can then get all six of your badges instead of putting them on shooting you can get all six of those extra badges and put them here and then what you could do is go ahead and get anchor breaker all the way hall of fame there's so many different options you can do here with this so that's just something to keep in mind <clears throat> and then on defense the most important ones here again we'll go menace we will go ankle breaker i'm sorry pick dodger all right so that's 13 so let's drop these down um 11 nope take that all the way off um let's just do this right now Eight, nine, ten. Okay, good. All right, so um, we want a core glove. All right, that leaves us with eleven. We'll get clamps, so that leaves us with six left over. Um, we got options to get interceptor. You got options to get challenger. I will not worry about challenger. I'll probably look at interceptor, but interceptor don't really work like that. So then, what I will turn back around, then take these off. Well, let's get uh, 
workhorse. Let's get workhorse bronze and then let's get angle braces higher up. Boom. All right. So then there you go. So anyway, there you have it, my nephews and nieces. You got so many options here, but this build is absolutely disgusting. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comment section what you think as far as what you'll make changes about this build or if you just absolutely love it. But other than that, this is your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with another banger, man. And you know, when I say back soon with another banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.